Um, as the oldest committee member, uh, I welcome everybody to the first meeting of the Justice Subcommittee on Policing. Uh, no apologies have been received. Uh, let me invite everyone in turn to declare interests. Uh, for my part, I have no relevant interests to declare. Let me go round the table, starting with Ben. Relevant interest to declare, but I, I refer members to my voluntary register of interest that I'm a non-practicing member of the Law Society of Scotland, in case that's ever relevant. I have no relevant interest to declare. Uh, convener, um, as a former police officer, I'm in receipt of a police pension, which may feature. I'm also a member of the Retired Police Officers Association of Scotland, Highlands and Islands branch. Thank you. Uh, convener, I have no relevant uh, interest to declare. Uh, thank you very much, uh, colleagues. Uh, if uh, any other members join us, I will ensure that they are invited to so declare similarly. Next item on the agenda is uh, the uh, choosing of a convener. Um, May I ask for nominations uh, as a convener? I would like to Mary Fee. Mary, you are willing to serve? Yes. Thank you. Are there any other nominations? Yes, convener. I would like to nominate um, Margaret Mitchell, who has uh, agreed that she is interested. And if I, I may say a few words on that nomination, please. Um, if you, I am perfectly content to allow that. Uh, I will, however, allow Mary also to say a few words, if that is... Uh, Okay, well, it's more as nominee, rather, as, as a proposer. Speak should... ahead. Speak yes. ahead. I'm okay. not going to be... Well, I, I would like to say that um, we're fortunate we've got two very good candidates. I, I, I was a member of a committee that Mary chaired, and I had every confidence in her, her, her ability to do that. And likewise, if she's the successful candidate today, then she'll have my full and unqualified support. I, I can say that. But I have to say that in the letter that was written from this committee to the presiding officer which we all undertook to, to go with, and it was circulated, a part of the, the, the proposal of the membership was that the convener of the Justice Committee should convene the subcommittee. Um, it also qualified that by saying, although it's recognised that this is a decision of the subcommittee itself. Nowhere did it say this would be the subject of an arrangement between the business managers of the Scottish National Party and the Scottish Labour Party. So that's disappointing if that were a, a feature of it. But um, whatever the decision, the uh, convener will enjoy my full and unqualified support. Uh, that's, that's a very helpful set of remarks. And I think, uh, without further ado, uh, we should move uh, to uh, uh, the voting. Uh, and I will take the votes in the order in which the nominations were received. Um, can I ask for a show of hands uh, for those in favour of Mary Fee as convener? Yes. Uh, can I ask for a show of hands for those in favour of Margaret Mitchell as convener? Thank you. There were three votes uh, for Mary Fee, two votes for Margaret Mitchell. I therefore declare uh, that uh, Mar uh, Mary Fee is the convener of the Justice Subcommittee on Policing, and I now vacate the chair and pass it to our convener. Thank you, everyone, and thank you for um, choosing me to be the convener of the policing subcommittee, and I look forward to working with you all over the, the coming um, session. Before I move on to cover the rest of the agenda for today, can I invite Rona Mackay to make any declarations? No register of interest. Okay, that's lovely. Thank you. Um, Agenda item two um, it is also for this committee to decide whether it wishes to choose a deputy to con uh, convener. There is no obligation for us to do so, and an alternative might be to appoint a temporary convener if the convener is unavailable. Do members wish to appoint a deputy convener? 
Liam. Um, thank you very much in, indeed. Um, I think in um, the circumstances, and I, I think I would associate myself entirely with John's earlier comments and offer my own congratulations on, on your appointment as the uh, convener. Uh, but I think in those circumstances, I'd be keen to nominate um, Margaret Mitchell for uh, deputy convener. Um, I think it would also help at, um, in terms of the, uh, the continuity that was referred to in the, uh, the letter from the committee to the uh, Parliamentary Bureau. And on that basis, I would, I would nominate Margaret. Yeah, that's lovely. Thank you very much. Um, do we agree to um, choose Margaret Mitchell as our deputy convener? I think procedurally we need to decide to have a deputy convener. All right. Okay. First. Sorry. If I, I may, convener. Thank you. Thank you. Do, so, do we agree to nominate a, a, a deputy convener? I am supportive. Right. Okay. Okay. As Margaret Mitchell has been nominated, do we agree to appoint Margaret Mitchell as our deputy convener? I agree. Uh, can I just enter the caveat, while well, I content she agreed to serve as convener, um, she, she of course has the right to inform us subsequently mm -hmm. that she would not be content yes. to serve as deputy convener. Uh, but, but, but I'm very content we take that decision today. I don't okay. think we should hang our hats on procedure. No. We, we, will, um, we will make that decision today and obviously if Margaret Mitchell um, chooses not to, it's something we can revisit at a, at a, future, a future meeting. Agenda item three today is a decision on taking business in private. Is the committee content to take items four and five in private, which are a discussion of working practices and the subcommittee's work programme? Thank you very much. We now move into private session.